guys, it's Ronnie. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I did a makeup tutorial, which I haven't done in a while, but this is the look that I came up with. Um, I've been wearing this look non-stop to work for the past like three weeks and I'm just in love with the pink. I don't know what it is about the pink, but it is speaking to me. Um, and I really like the way that it looks. I just, I think it's really fun for summer and I think it's perfect timing with this month being Pride Month. Just the colors are just like out there and it's really bright, really fun and flirty. For this look, I used the Morphe 35B palette. I've been loving this palette. I got this months ago, but I've just been playing, wanting to play with color. Um, and the pink is the one that I'm least afraid of. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Hey guys, how's it going? So it's been a hot minute since I've filmed a makeup tutorial, but um, here you go. So I'm starting off with moisturizing my face with my Lush Celestial Moisturizer. And uh, Homegirl is trying to get a little more fancy and is learning slowly but surely how to use a camera and I got you guys all zoomed in so I'm really proud of myself in that clip I was just checking to make sure I was in focus so here we go so I'm just starting out with some concealer as a base and I'm just using a real techniques brush to blend that out and then I'm just setting that with some Kat Von D translucent powder so I'm gonna be picking up this light pink shade and putting that in my crease and I did build this shade up just a little bit. It is a really light shade, so it's not going to be like super prominent, but I did build it just a teeny bit. And then I'm going in with this pink shade. It's not as dark as it seems in the pan. Um, I'm putting this in the crease as well, but kind of below that first shadow. And then as you can see, I'm really taking my time and really building up this shade to a really nice pink pigment. So this is what it looks like with just those two shades down. And then I'm going to pick up a really nice hot pink color and take it to the next level. And then with a little liner brush, I'm picking up that dark brown shade and I'm going to use this as my eyeliner. And I'm really just doing the thinnest line. I'm really just trying to enhance my natural lash line. And then I'm taking the Marc Jacobs Highliner in the shade Blacker, and I'm just going to tight line. And then I had forgotten to take this baby pink shade for the lid, so I'm just going back and placing that shade just on the lid. And I went ahead and put my lashes on off camera. And here I'm just blending everything out, adding some color, and then blending it again just to make sure it all looks good. So now I'm going in with the NYX pore filler to start my face. I don't know what it is about this bottle of pore filler that I got, but it comes out really piecey and not like nice, I guess. Um, but I've been using this other NYX primer. It's one of their oil primers. It's like a hydrating oil primer, and I've really been liking that as well. I really should have done this before I put on primer, but like I wasn't thinking about it, but I'm just cleaning up my lower lash line a little bit. So my foundation routine for summer has um, been something really light. I've just been doing concealer underneath my eyes, setting it with translucent powder, and then using the Kat Von D foundation powder all over my face. And then, you know, highlight and blush and bronzer. It's just been really, really light. So that's what I'm going to show you here. And when I say light, I just mean that it doesn't take as much time and it's not as heavy on my face as if I were to use my hourglass stick foundation um, I know I have like a crap ton of concealer on but light to me is like different than probably the average person so just keep that in mind so I'm taking my Kat Von D translucent powder and my beauty blender and I'm going to bake underneath my eyes so I'm going in with my Kat Von D foundation and I'm working that in all over my face and I'm avoiding the under eye area and kind of just like blending it up to where the line of where the baking powder ends, if that makes sense. And then I'm going ahead and contouring my face with the Anastasia contouring kit. 
and then I'm just wiping away the bake and I'm gonna go back in with my contouring powders just to bring back any color I may have lost on accident. And then I'm gonna fill in my brows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Ebony. And then I'm going in with that second pink shade and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. And then I'm taking that hot pink shade and I'm going to intensify the first pink shade that we put down. And then I'm going in with some lower lash mascara. And then I'm going in with one of these Huda Beauty Obsession palettes. Um, this is like the sparkly one. I have to put the name in the description box, but I'm taking the um, baby pink sparkly shade. Now finishing up the face, I'm going in with one of these e.l.f. blush quads and I'm taking this baby pink shade and putting that on the apples of my cheeks. And then I'm going in with the Bretman Times Morphe highlighter palette and I believe I mixed two shades together and I used that for highlighter. And then whenever I put on, oh my gosh, my dog is barking. Nine times out of 10 when I'm wearing highlighter, I put the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder over top. And then I'm lining my lips with a Kylie Cosmetics Candy K and I'm using the Super Nude Gloss from KKW Beauty. 